Hello all, welcome to Ferdinand Tutorials. Now in this video, I want to be talking about prion proteins, or I can say prion diseases. So, stay calm, get your juice, get your drink, get your yogurt, sit tight and watch this video. You're going to be learning a lot. So let's go. A prion is a type of protein that can cause disease in animals and humans by triggering normal healthy proteins in the brain to food abnormally. The prion mode of action is very different to bacteria and viruses as they are simple proteins devoid of any genetic material. Once a misfolded prion enters a health person potentially by eating infected food, it converts correctly folded protein into the disease associated form. To date, like to date, nobody knows quite how this happens. Now remember that in my last video I was talking about a reverse transcription. Remember that there is what we call genetic dogma. As I stated in that video, I said that genetic dogma, information moves from DNA to RNA and from RNA to protein. That's genetic dogma. And that genetic dogma explains that information cannot be converted again. Like you cannot say since information has been converted to protein, that information will move from protein to uh, DNA or from protein to RNA. It is not possible. That's what the dogma states. But there are, there are exceptions to these rules. And the exception, one of the uh, two exceptions that I have studied is the reverse transcription and the prion proteins. So prion proteins is an exception in the sense that information that has been translated to protein already are now moved to DNA, like they are transferred to DNA. You understand? So that is what a prion protein, and this is a disease, you get, according to what we are talking about here, is a disease. So let's talk about the prion diseases. Prion diseases are rare. Prion diseases are rare. But types of prion disease include, we have the CJD. A person can inherit this condition, in which case it is called familiar CJD. Sporadic CJD, on the other hand, develops suddenly without any known risk factor. Most cases of CJD are sporadic and tend to strike people around the age of 60. That's for the first one. The second one is the variant CJD. This is an infectious disease that is related to mad cow disease. Eating diseased meat may cause the disease in humans. The disease may cause normal human protein to develop abnormally like this disease now. It usually affects younger people. Variant CJD affects younger people. Why CJD affects people from age of what? 16. Variable protein sensitive prionopathy. That's VPSPR. This is less sensitive to digestion. It is more likely to strike people around the age of 70 who have a family history of dementia. Now, another one is the word the Gessman Strassler Schenker disease. Extremely rare, like this is rare. I know so many of us have not heard of this. It is very rare. But occurs at an earlier age, typically around 40. Now, we also have fatal insomnia. We are talking about the prion diseases. Fatal insomnia. Rare hereditary disorder causing difficulty in sleeping. People who are at risk for prion disease. First one is family history of prion disease. Second, eating meat infected by mad cow disease. That's before you eat your meat these days. You don't just go and buy meat and you warm it and you eat. No. Even if it's already infected, like you pass it through a heat. Ah, like heat, boil the meat. Cook it very, very well. Very, very, very well. And also know the kind of meat that you eat. You just don't just eat any kind of cow meat and you call it meat. No. Infection from receiving uh, contaminated medical equipment. You understand? Like you are receiving injection from a contaminated equipment and your doctor is telling you, use this. I used this some minutes ago. It's still fresh. Don't try it. Don't try it. Get your knee syringe and needle. That's why it is cheap these days. So get yours. Don't allow uh, infected uh, equipment to be used into your body. No. Okay, let's talk about the symptoms of uh, prion protein, of prion disease. Now, we have muscle stiffness. We have hallucinations. We have confusion. We have fatigue. Difficulty in speaking, etc. Now, how are protein disease, prion disease treated? Prion disease can be cured. But certainly, medicine may help slow down their progress. Proper cleaning and sterilizing medical equipment may prevent the spread of this disease. So this is the little we know about this prion disease. 
you've already know how prion disease occur and what causes it so this is the little we know thank you for being here we'll see you again on next video please subscribe to this channel if you've not subscribed share to your friends who don't know about this tutorial and like like this video share to many people share to many platforms and help grow this tutorial thank you all